Hey everyone! This isn't a video I planned to make. It feels like one I had to make. From time to time I get drawn back into an older game and I don't really have much control over this. I recorded all of it, so we're just gonna go with it. Today we're talking about Kenshi, another ruthless experience where game-ending consequences can take place at any time. When it first came out, I was really excited about Kenshi. To give you a brief idea, this one boasts a very unique large-scale world with warring civilizations and tribes kind of settled everywhere. They're settled, you're not. Whatever the original circumstances of your arrival into this world, it'll range from terrible to downright impossible. You can choose to be a poor, under-equipped wanderer, a poor, under-equipped trader, or maybe you want to try your luck as a literal slave to the Holy Empire, or spawn in in the midst of a cannibal attack. I absolutely love the concept of getting physically tougher through physically getting hit in this game. Every fight within the game is a gamble, and you'll absolutely lose a lot. Most of the time you can just hold your breath and hope to survive. Time and again you'll see your ass handed to you, robbed of what little food you have, and hopefully crawl away to safety before something far worse happens to you. Depending on where you are or who you might run into, some factions might decide to enslave you, eat you, or maybe just rob you and leave you to the animals. Eventually you might scrape together some coin while having to pay insane prices for food. Maybe start building up your ranks and convincing suckers to come fight alongside you. Hopefully you can push the idea of a full game over further and further into the distance. Any battle might be your last, or it could cost you a limb, obviously making things harder permanently. Having a group and eventually a community is vital to continued survival. Every skill within the game functions around experience in the same way as toughness does, but of course most other actions are far less potentially lethal. Your characters are no more special than anyone else, and in most cases you're actually far weaker than almost anyone else you meet at the start. Everything you do though, from running and carrying things around to build strength, to mining for ore or even martial arts, it all builds up your character further and further. If you manage to keep them from getting cut down for long enough, and fight enough battles to more than even the odds, you could try to take root somewhere in this dreary world. There is a beautiful metaphor in this game, and it demonstrates a more harsh reality of the difficulty to overcoming adversity. The game showcases your team learning from their mistakes, and demonstrates how challenging that is. There's also a great relationship that can sometimes develop between you, the player, and your individual characters that survive alongside you. Very much like RimWorld, Kenshi aims to build a story out of the events that happen to you and your characters. That said, this is far less formal, and even the hardest settings of RimWorld won't prepare you for what you face here. Kenshi is just designed to be more difficult. The UI, the game speed settings, and camera controls are frustrating more often than not. But the biggest development choice that can quickly ruin your experience is that the game doesn't pause or make much effort to alert you when your characters are under attack or in danger. This isn't a major issue at the forefront of the game, but if you can survive to a point where your team is large enough to split up, it can be potentially devastating. The other major issue that plagues this game is bad AI and pathfinding, which also becomes much more visible when you need to send your people to far off places. The loading panel pops up on you and forcibly pauses your game more and more often as you're able to move faster, due to poor chunk management. Characters can become easily confused around most obstacles, stop dead in their tracks, wanderers can get stuck in the walls of your base. Issuing a move order on your group may result in the group moving hopefully together, but sometimes not. And if a group is attacked while split up, that can also be devastating, especially if you yourself weren't responsible. I think it was a wise choice to add a quick save and quick load feature into this experience for reasons like this, despite it being an otherwise odd choice for a game with such permanent story type consequences being developed. This game has an overall pacing issue. It develops shortly after you establish a foothold, but also really throughout, in terms of needing to abruptly change your game speed to react to certain threats. You'll essentially toggle between high speed grinding and low speeds or pausing to issue fight orders, if you can manage to catch it in time. Kenshi is a game about taking risks, and as a project, to me it's also representative of developers taking risks. Despite my criticisms and frustrations at times with this experience, I can't help but appreciate the concepts that did come to life here, and they work extremely well. Kenshi's early game, the wanderer's struggle for greatness, and that feeling when you finally start to overcome those harsh surroundings. Even the pride you feel in watching your favorite character grow up, there's really nothing quite like it. 
While it's maybe not a universally acclaimed game, and it's harder to recommend to a general pool of players, I hold Kenshi in a very high regard, and I very much look forward to a Kenshi too. The sequel, while it has no official release date or really a lot of news surrounding it, it should hopefully have a faster development time as it's reportedly being developed in Unreal Engine. There are many aspects to the vanilla game that do feel unfinished, or very bare. In a game where your story is written by the choices you make, ultimately your choices are more limited here than you may expect at times. Luckily, modders have been able to breathe some new life into the game over the years, and you may want to check out what's been released there. For the sake of this video, I only used a dark UI mod, but there are complete overhaul mods that look extremely impressive and promising. Maybe worth checking out. So that's my piece on Kenshi, at least for now. I may get pulled back in with one of these mods, I have no idea how well any of my videos will really ever do, so if that's something you do want to see, feel free to let me know in the comments or in the brand new Discord. The link for that's in the description if you want to check it out. As always, I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me today, and I hope you enjoyed my take on Kenshi. Thanks for watching.